something that I'm very proud of would be that I established the goal first. Okay. And then I worked on what are the things that I can do to achieve that goal. In and your control. In my control. Okay. It's pretty much the same thing for my college years. Okay. So I know that I just wanted to finish college and then wanted to become a lawyer, to be honest. You wanted that. I wanted okay, to become wow. a lawyer. So um, I enrolled um, in PUP because I failed UPCAT. Okay. So 12 pesos per unit back then. I don't know if it's still mm-hmm. 12 pesos now. Mm-hmm. And the hassle was like, you know, ang ang first class ko will be at seven in the morning, and that's gonna be up until four in the afternoon. Shit, whole day, whole day. And what were you taking up? Um, philosophy. Philo pa. Oh my god. Philo ako nyan. Right. Seven in the morning. Ron, I live in Sukat Muntinlo pa balikan natin. Yeah, the Malap- uh, PNR. Right, PNR. Exactly. Dun kami and malapit. That is already a fucking hustle in itself. Yep. So ito yan. <laughs> seven a.m. ang klasiko. Okay. I need to ride the five a.m. train going to Santa Mesa, kasi that will just cost me 12 pesos. Correct. But if if I'm going to take the bus kasi I, I miss the train, it will cost me 50 to 60 pesos to get Shit. to Manila. So, and imagine, so mm. my class is up until 4 p.m. My Jollibee work starts at 5 in the afternoon, yung San Fernando branch na Jollibee dyan sa Santa Mesa. Okay. That's going to be up until midnight. And you know, in Jollibee, you extend for an hour or two because you have to clean up. Wow. So I finish the day One in the morning, two in the morning. I'm at home by roughly around two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. Then Grind I sleep again. Yeah, because again, I need to wake up four thirty in the morning Shit. in preparation for the five a.m. train. How long did you do this for? Oh, that's two years before I finally got a job in the. And you kids or say you're overwhelmed right now if you're listening and you're a Gen Z. I'm I saying. I mean, right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be grind. I'm not yeah. shitting on your hustle. But sometimes you have to put things into perspective over what's hard and what's really fucking hard. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's my day to day. Um, the good thing about PUP is that means I'm walang professor, so you get to sleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so right, you get to sleep, and then during my break time at um, so in in, in my my part time job, that's right. where I would usually do all my homework and assignments. Mm. So try to manage the time really, and then you know, pag walang professor, then that's a time for you to get things done. Right. And 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 it's a good thing that I'm all. I also have some classmates who are very understanding who okay. help out during the process too. So I remember one thing during this phase where FOMO was real. Mm. Where okay, my classmates would, oi Dota, oi let's go yeah. see it, oh let's Starbucks, or let's <laughs> ha ha. Right, hang out. For me, it's like, nah, dude, I'm gonna go. I'll take whatever hours of sleep I can put in because yeah. I have a grind to do. Yeah. But one thing I realized about myself is that, dude, when apparently the skill, the willpower to persist is something that it not that does not exist with a lot of people. Yeah. Because most people, even back in our generation, millennial, Gen X, whatever you call right. it, right? Right. One smack in the face, people ouch. Nah, I don't want to go. Yeah, but for me, it's like, dude, my dream was simple. I just don't want this to be the status quo because my mom worked so hard. Yeah, I wanted to buy her a house. Yeah, at that point, and you're again, you were short term goals lang at that point. Um, uh, high school, college. Were you starting to develop what that overall grand thing would be, and what did you start learning about yourself in that process? Because There were days where I just would, I just couldn't push through. My body was mm-hmm. not able to give me what I needed. I was sabaw in school. There was even a time where I couldn't even go up the stairs because my body was just too tired. I was yeah. out, up for 48 hours straight. What did you discover about yourself and how did you then keep going? Because it was so much easier mm-hmm. to stop. Yeah. You know... Yung fear lang na maging mahirap talaga ron. Um, I, I kasi we've experienced it. Like, yep. I think this is the first time that I'm gonna share about it. Um, mm. Hindi kami middle class, or hindi kami mayaman. Um, I would say na mahirap lang din kami, you know? Yeah. Um, and the fear na this, that's gonna be my life all throughout is something that's creeping on me. That's why, you know, sabi ko, no, I'm gonna finish college. Kasi yeah. I was able to do it high school. With just myself and some couple of other Not people. Respect, man. And I'm then, a fan of yours now. This early pa lang. <laughs> I'm already a fan. Okay. So, yung fear lang talaga na this is not this is gonna be my life 
mm. moving forward. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be poor. I wanted to drive my own car. I wanted there to get go. my own house. I want to live uh, in better living. Now I'm living in better living. There you go. So, nice high five. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so. Across the other side of Slex na. I know, right? Right. Mm-hmm. At saka subdivision na. Uh, and yeah. not, 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 near, not nearby the lake anymore. Okay. Not nearby the PNR station. Exactly. You, you have, <laughs> dahil dumadaan yung trim. What you hear now is the airplane. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Landing and uh, taking off. Right. Right. So yeah, the, the fear of, you know, being poor and that becoming my life. Right. That's really the motivation. 